Hi guys, it's Shar. Welcome back to my channel, Crafting Up a Storm. It's been a while, but I'm really happy to be back crafting with you today. It's the fifth, and you know that that means it's the five under five challenge. I've got five really great and simple projects for you, all costing under $5 to make. I'll tell you more about the challenge in my video, but for now, let's get crafting. For my first project, I picked up these metal birdhouses at Dollar Tree. One is a little shorter and thicker and two are um, slightly taller and thinner. I wiggled the pick back and forth and it popped off very easily. I started by putting them in a small bucket and adding some vinegar and um, I let them sit for uh, actually several days. It do, you don't have to let them sit for that long, but I did let them sit for several days. I wanted to age them up. This is something you can do in the paint job. You can distress them easily using um, your paint um, with a brown uh, paint in the background, but I wanted to take the shine away from the metal and kind of have some of that rusty aged looking metal underneath. I am gonna paint them the short, thicker one I'm painting with white chalk paint. And I'm doing a very dry, light coat. I want a lot of that metal and distressing to show through. I don't want to coat the entire surface. I don't believe I show it in my video, but even afterward, I do take and sand the edges a little bit to take some of the paint off the edges. I really wanted it to look aged and distressed. So I'm painting all of the sides and the roof with the white chalk paint. And then on another one, I used some red chalk paint. And on the last one, I used the ocean blue chalk paint. Now I have some Jenga blocks. I'm gonna make a stand to put the birdhouses on. And you'll see that three Jenga blocks glued together fit right inside the um, bottom of the birdhouse. This is gonna help um, make it a little stable and stand up easier. I glued one set into the bottom of the white birdhouse. And then the other sets I made a little bit taller. I wanted varying heights. So you'll see how one is um, two stacks and one is three stacks of Jenga blocks. In the middle, I glued another stack and that is in a second what I will glue that white birdhouse to. Here I am gluing that white birdhouse to the front of that middle stack of blocks. And you can see I have some moss and some sticks. I'm gonna use the moss to cover up the stand and the sticks I will use as replacing the little perch from the pick that we pulled out of the um, bottom of the birdhouse. I covered the stand with moss, a Dollar Tree moss. And I also kind of went around uh, a couple of different places and added moss wherever I liked to. Tell me what you guys think of this one. You all know this is one of my favorite collaborations to take part in, the Five Under Five Challenge. It is hosted every month on the 5th by Missy at Crafty Cove and Emily at Farm Charm Chic. This month's guest host is Marla at The Chic Show. These are some incredibly talented ladies. Please go over and check out their channel and give them some love. And while you're at it, check out the playlist and you will get a ton of wonderful, inexpensive red, white, and blue project ideas. For this project, I picked up a box sign 
from Dollar Tree, and I gave it a good coat of chalk paint in cashew. It didn't take much. That cashew color uh, covered everything pretty nicely. I just took care not to get any of it in the grooves. I still want it to look um, like a plank sign. Now I'm going to dry brush some of the mineral chalk paint over the top to give it a wood grain effect. And again, just trying to not uh, get any of the paint in the grooves. And I did this a couple of times. I'm using a red, white, and blue window cling set from Dollar Tree, and I picked out the red, white, and cool. I thought it was really cute. I did split it where those grooves show up so that I can have it um, on either side of the groove and it continues to look like a wood plank. And then I put some Mod Podge over the top of everything just to hold it down and take some of the shine off of the window cling. Now I'm going to add some ribbon. They, oh, I, I did also add some of the stars from the window cling as well. The ribbon I also purchased at Dollar Tree. It's this really great red, white, and blue star ribbon. I thought it went perfect. I want to wrap it around the edge to finish off that frame. And so I'm going to just cut the ribbon um, down the middle and make an edge. I used my ruler. My ruler was the exact width of that frame so I just laid my ruler down and used an exacto knife to cut um, a nice strip of ribbon. I glued the ribbon around the frame really carefully in the corners. I took some hot glue in the corners and then I use my finger protector and really smooth that out so there's not any bumps. I made a simple bow with the same ribbon to put to the front. I like to make it um, the tails on it longer and cut them down once I have it up against the project and then I know what length I want it to be. So I dovetailed the end and cut them shorter and I glued that kind of in the corner of the top of the frame and then to the front of that I added a twine bow. Very simple project. And that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I found this cute little wooden heart sign at Dollar Tree. It actually is supposed to hold a, fo a photo in the top slit, um, but it's just a wooden heart with another wooden raised heart on the top of it and a sticker on the top of that. I cut some slits in the sticker and um, let some water sit on it to get the um, adhesive moistened enough that I can scrape it off and I just cleaned it off real good. It's really, it comes off very easily with this technique. Now I'm gonna take to that front heart, I'm going to paint it a solid white chalk paint. Very easy to paint it because it's raised up from the back. I left that back piece exactly how it came from Dollar Tree. After that white chalk paint was dry, I taped it off on one side with some painter's tape and on this side, which is the left side of the heart, I'm going to paint it blue with some blue chalk paint. And then I didn't show this, but after that was dry, I used the tape to cover the blue and then I put some washi tape down and painted over that to make some red and white stripes on the other side of the heart. And now you can see here, I'm just taking some white chalk paint and distressing the blue and the red so that it's not so stark. I'm using a template 
to just pencil in a star that I'm just going to hand paint. I don't want it to be perfect, so I can just hand paint it pretty easily. I just start at the points and go in. You can use a sticker. You can put a sticker down, paint it blue, and then pull the sticker off so it's white um, to show the white underneath. A couple of different things you can do, but I just hand painted the star on this one. And then I added some dots and dash stitching detail on the red and white side to add a little bit of whimsy and character. And this one was done super easy. It's one of my favorites. I really liked it. it. Came out cute. You guys tell me what you think. For this project, I picked up one of these star-shaped mirrors from Dollar Tree. And I took the little screws out of the back and took the back frame off and took it apart. I will probably use the mirror piece in another project, but for right now, I just want this frame piece. I'm going to paint the frame with a truffle chalk paint. I just want to put a dark base on the frame and then I'll distress it with a lighter color um, to give it the wood grain effect. I'm trying to get the insides of the frame as well. Um, since it's thicker, the inside um, edges will show. Now I'm going to distress it with a little bit of the Waverly Cashew paint. Dry, um, dry distress and it's kind of textured on this frame so it was very easy to do um, a uneven distressing on it. This next step is where I glued um, some Jenga blocks into the back of the frame where that groove uh, was from the mirror setting in there. I just cut pieces until I had the size I needed. I wasn't worried about it being perfect in the back. However, this is what I should have done and then painted it um, because I had to go back and paint those Jenga blocks. But I got them in and painted and now I'm using the frame from the star and I am using it as a template. I'm sorry, the back of the star. I'm using it as a template to cut a piece of chicken wire in a star shape. So I'm just using my heavy duty snippers and cutting around this star shape. I'm not worried about it being perfect. I'll trim it up after it's on there. I've laid my star shape over the little frame that I've built. And you can see the popsicle sticks that I've also cut. I'm going to take some hot glue and lay it over the top of that chicken wire and Jenga block. And then I'll put the popsicle stick on the top of that. And that will sandwich the chicken wire in between the Jenga block and the popsicle stick and kind of hold it in place, um, building a frame on it that way. And again, this is the back of the project. I'm not worried about it being perfect back here. I just want to hold that wire in place. Once that was done, I went back around the edge and trimmed off any sharp pieces. I even took a file to it if I needed to or just kind of pushed it back up against it so it wasn't poking out um, and sharp in any um, areas. I picked up this uh, floral pick at Dollar Tree and it has some kind of fern greenery and these berries. I trimmed some of the pieces down and trimmed some pieces off the bottom and just kind of glued it into one of the feet of the star. And after I had it glued down, I used some twine 
to wrap around and that will cover those uh, end pieces of the pick. I wanted this to be kind of understated uh, blue and red, white, and blue, um, almost kind of farmhouse look. So I just wrap some twine around the bottom of this. And then I used some red twine from Dollar Tree to make a, a triple loop bow and I glued that to the top. Tell me what you guys think of this one. This project was super simple as well. I picked up this wooden rainbow from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $4.99. I got it on sale. I believe it was $2.49, $2.50, somewhere around there. I painted it with a solid white chalk paint first, all over. And now I'm going to add some color, but instead of rainbow color, we're just going to do red, white, and blue stripes on this one. So I started with the inside arch and I made that red. I used some, I, I think I was out of chalk paint. I think I used an acrylic here, but just a dark red. It covered really well since I had the white chalk paint underneath. I skipped the next arch and I went to the middle one and painted it red as well. I probably should have taped off a little bit. It wasn't too difficult um, since these were raised off um, the back, but I did have to do a little bit of cleanup because I did not tape. Now I am doing the outside arch red as well. And you can see that the other arches I filled in with that ocean chalk paint. Here I'm doing a little bit of cleanup for the overage. Um, I picked up a wooden star ornament at Dollar Tree. I think I had this in my stash, but I painted it with some silver acrylic paint. It took several coats to cover that star. Now I wanted to distress the rainbow so it wasn't such um, stark colors. However, the Waverly Wax was just a little bit too dark for me. So I kind of had to wipe a lot of it away with a baby wipe. And I really liked the effect of that wet distressing on the colors um, with that baby wipe. So I went in and I did a lot of wet distressing. You just have to make sure you don't cross the colors because as you're wet distressing and it's taking off that paint, it will mix it in. Um, I glued the star to the front of my wooden rainbow and to cover up the ornament holder hole, I made a loopy twine bow and glued it to the top of the star. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I always enjoy bringing you these budget-friendly projects. Check out the playlist for more wonderful ideas. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of my crafty family. Have a great day.